In the end of Parshish Matis, we find the Bnei God Bnei Ruvain came to Meishe Rabbeinu, and they told to Meishe Rabbeinu that the Eretz Bnei God Bnei Ruvain is the Eretz Mikne, Velavodecha Mikne, and therefore they're asking that they would like to stay in Eivar Yarden. That's the story, the story of Eivar Yarden. Meishe Rabbeinu reacts, very upset. He says, Kamtem, he says, Chaos of Isechem, Vatem Kamtem, Tachas of Isechem, Tarbus Anoshim Chatoim. Very, very sharp to the Bnei God of Bnei Ruvain for suggesting that they're going to stay in Eivar Ayardi. Then the Bnei God of Bnei Ruvain go, respond to Meishe Rabbeinu. And they tell Meishe Rabbeinu that we, want to, that we will go to Eretz Yisrael and fight for Eretz Yisrael. However, we will, our families will remain here, and we will go fight. We'll fight till Achr Yerusha, Yeshiva, B'Kitzur, and then, Yerusha, Yeshiva, and then we'll return. That was the suggestion that the Bnei God, the Bnei Ruvin themselves suggested, that they will go fight and then they will return. Meish Rabbeinu doesn't say clear that Meish Rabbeinu is the Abishter. The pastor said, "Dvar Meish Rabbeinu is the Abishter." Meish Rabbeinu answers back, "Yes." And over there, that's the famous Tanai Bnei God Bnei Ruvain. Meish Rabbeinu makes a Tanai Kofel that if you will go, so then you will have it, and if you won't go, you won't have it. So Meish Rabbeinu agrees to what the Bnei God Bnei Ruvain suggested. And then, again, the Bnei God the Bnei, God, the Bnei Ruvin agree. The, the Tehras clearly says that the Bnei God, the Bnei Ruvin agreed. Meishe Rabbeinu turns to Yeshua and to Lozer, and he tells Yeshua and the Lozer about this tonight, and if they'll be Mekayim the tonight, so then you'll give them the Eivir HaYarden, and if not, you shouldn't give them the Eivir HaYarden. So Lechura Alza Zogeret, Alza Zogeret. The story could end right over there. I don't have a chumash here in front of me, but right after Meishe Rabbeinu, Meishe Rabbeinu turns, and after Meishe Rabbeinu turns to, to, to Yeshua and to Lazar Akein, so then the Bnei God of Bnei Ruvain, then the Bnei God of Bnei Ruvain, uh, no, no, Abamidbar, Abamidbar, I said, I'll call upon him to the Bnei God of Bnei Ruvain, turn back, and they, st they start speaking again. Sorry. So, And by Yemen Meisha, he told him the Tanai and he told him everything. So the everything is finished. Again, the Bnei God Bnei Ruvain made the suggestion. Meisha Rabbeinu accepted the suggestion. He accepted the suggestion. And Meishe Rabbeinu verbalized it with a Tanai Kofel, with the Ale Protim from Hilchis Tanoim, that the Ram Rechens is that in Hilchis Yishos Peirik Vov, Ale Tanoim from Hilchis Tanai. Then they agreed to the Tanai. Meishe Rabbeinu tells Allah Zerakein, Yeshua Ben Nun, everything is fine. Everything is good. Vayanu, Bnei God of Bnei Ruvain, Eis HaShadibar HaShem Al Avadach HaKei Naseh. Uh, they, they, they agreed. And then, and he told him exactly. And then it says, And they're coming along and saying it again. They're saying it again as Redundancy, it's, it's like redundant. 
They suggested it. Meishe Rabbeinu made the Tanai. Meishe Rabbeinu made it. Everything was agreed. Yetzirah and Zeviter. The Shaila is, what's going on? Why? And, and, and then again, Meishe speaks again. Lechur at the end, the whole Arichos Advarim is Lechur and Miyutur. Look, I'm, I'm saying, maybe I'm not saying it so clearly, but I think it's, uh, if you read the post, it's Mishmam is Shver. Why are they saying it again? It's Yesh Leimar. Yesh Leimar was there. When you read the Pasha of Bnei Godi Bnei Ruven, in Pasha's Matis, in Pasha's Matis, it sounds like Bnei Godi Bnei Ruven had Mikna Rav Hoyul Bnei Godi Bnei Ruven, and they're saying, Avadecha Mikna, this Eretz Mikna, we want to stay here. When you read Zeis HaBrocha, Zeis HaBrocha, when Meish Rabbeinu is speaking to God, so over there Meish Rabbeinu says, Vaya Reishis Lei, Kishom chelkas mechekik sofum. We ask Rosh Hashanah. It's a whole different story. In, in Parshas Matis, it speaks about the Bnei God of Bnei Ruven that they're interested in Mikna. Mikna, Mikna, it's Mikna. In Parshas Seis Abrocha, we see that it's a whole different story. That the reason why they wanted to stay in Eretz. In Eretz, in, in Ebra Yardin, the Tsiba of Mikna was only a very Chitzenis de Kasiba. The Pnimis de Kasiba was Kishom Chelkas Mechekik Sofum. It's different Biurim, they wanted to be together with Meshir Abeinu, they wanted to be Eilut Chiyas Hamesim together with Meshir Abeinu, they wanted to be with Meshir Abeinu. They didn't want to leave Ebra Yardin, they were willing to be Mavater. I'm being in Eretz Yisrael. In order to be with Mesha. Kishom Chalkas Bechekit Sofu. So that's clear. This is on Apshet. It's Pashut that they wanted to have by Kishom Chalkas Bechekit Sofu. Alpiza Yeshleimer. That there was another Kavana Primis in the Bnei God of Neiruven. That the Bnei God of Neiruven wanted to receive their chalik in Eretz Yisrael directly from Meishe. The Yidin in Eretz Yisrael that went to Eretz Yisrael received it from Yeshua and from Eloza. Which obviously was Bishlichos Al-Azachim. They wanted to receive the chalik in Eber Ayadin directly from Meishe. So even though they came, they're not going to say that. So the answer, they came along with a whole story. That the Avadecha Mikna Agantza Maisa. Meisha Abeinu, and they suggested that, they suggested that, that they're going to go fight. Meisha Abeinu tells them the whole thing, the, the whole tonight. Also the same. There's one problem. The problem is that after Meisha Abeinu let up the tonight, so Meisha Abeinu Vayemer Meisha Vayitzavla Meisha Solozer Akein Vishua Rosh Hamatis Vayemulem Im Yavru Bnei God Vinich Bishoyz of Neim Unesatem Lohem Es Eretz Hagilu Lachuza. So the whole plan was that Meisha should give it to them. They wanted to get it directly from Meisha, and Meisha turns to Yeshua and tells Lozer, and he says Unesatem Es Solozer Yeshua. So the whole plan fell. So do vert vayanu bnei God bnei Ruven. As I said, Diber Hashem al avodecha keinas and nachnu naver chalutzim viitonu achuzes nachla seinu meavre hayardin. So the whole point was viitonu achuzes nachla seinu. I want to, we want to have the Vitonu, the Rachuzas Nachlasenu should be Vitonu from before. Here they said clearly what they want. So what happens right after then? Vayitem lahem meishel ibnei God ibnei Ruvain. The Nachla. And then he says clearly that, that they have it. And notice the, the plan, the Kitzur. The Nakudas Advarim was. That there was the Chitzen Yisdik plan, and there was the Prim Yisdik plan. The Chitzen Yisdik plan was that they want to have Eretz Mikna. 
We already see in Zeis Abracha that that was a chitzenis the kaplan v'har raya that it says kisham chelkes mechekik zofim. And these pratim of the plan, they wanted that they should get a direct information. The says that there was a derher that the beligod of Neiruvein. It's not only they want to have a land. They want to have a land that they're going to get directly from Mesha. Lemain af kemina, if they get it directly from Mesha, they don't get it directly from Mesha. Lemain af kemina. So, ikhvesesh, kenesh vesesh, ikhvesesh. Kamei, kasei, vesesh, shtarke mekushar. They were shtarke mekushar, they wanted to get it directly from Mesha. In Tuba of, in Chelek of Dalet, there's a sikh the Rebbe in Tosh Mangil, the Rebbe spoke, Benigeya, the Sim of Masech the Tainus. And the Rebbe, the, in, over there, the Rebbe speaks, it's a long Arichus Advarim. But one of the things that the Rebbe brings over there is the Yushalmi, he brings it was a Sim on Bavle and the Yushalmi. He brings over there that there's the Sim on the, on, in, in, in Bavli, there's different Madregas of the Bonis, the, the Bnei Sim, the Bnei Yushalayim. So there was the Yofiyafiyas, and there was the Miyuchoses, and maybe even Ashires, according to one year, sir. And then there's the Mechwaris. And you show me, there's the noise and the Mechwaris. And it says over there that the Mechwaris, Maho Ya Imris, Mechwaris would say, Al Titin in Necho Biyefi. And the Rebbe talks in Arichos, Lachure, what's called to, to call the Mechwaris. The Nukuda Sadvarim that the Rebbe is Masber, that according to the Yushalmi, the Gede Mechwaris was Azoi. There's a Madrega of Bnei Sishalayim that says, Tani Necho B'Mishpocha, and know they deher their Maila, but they deher that the Maila comes with Chusavis, all the Mailas. That's the Rebbe's talk, the Yushalmi is speaking about all the Mailas. Inside the mile of Yichus, inside the mile of Yefi, inside the mile of Ashirus, everything comes teni necho b'mishpacha. Mashiach and the Mechuares were those people that also had miles. But they said, Al titeni necho b'yefi. Don't look at my mile, don't even look at my mile, mitzad the mishpacha. Al titeni necho b'yefi, why not? So in, 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 in Bavli it says, Tchul mikha chalashem shamayim. Should there hair, that there is masbe, that the soy nechoriei, that a person should there hair, there's a mitzvah that a person that has, that everything is shaykhus to the Eberster, everything is shaykhus to the Eberster, and the main, it's pachal nani geya, my yefi, my mailas, even my mailas, why I have the mailas. When a person is standing in dechim mishpoch, you're saying, my mailas are because of my mishpoch, but I have mailas. There's a madrega called where the whole mailas herzach, that's the Eberster's mailas. The, the, the bas plane, the plane, the Rebbe talks in Arichos. So in other words, there's two ways of the herring a person's mailas. There's a way of herring the mailas is that you have mailas, how do you have the mailas? And then there's a Matthias of having mailas that you, the herring, that's everything the Eberster's. This morning, we learned the Maimer, in the, in the Maimer, the Rebbe speaks about Vavram Zokin Boba Yomin, Vashem Beirich Zavram Bakel. Zavram Zokin Boba Yomin was also comes from the Eibushter. Abedotni was a Madrega that comes from from Chesedus Matik. I'll call upon him that over there the Pshat is he heard Vavram Zokin Boba Yomin. There's a Madrega where it's Vavram Zokin Boba Yomin, and then there's a higher Madrega Vavram Beirich Vashem Beirich Zavram Bakel that over there heard of the Vashem Beirich. And that's the chidush of getting from Mesha as opposed to not getting from Mesha. When a person doesn't get from Mesha, says he has it. Sezayin razach. No, when he got it, he got it from Mesha. Mashein came when a person, or he got it from, he got it. Mashein came when a person gets something from Mesha, so the ufta of getting something from Mesha, I got something from Mesha, I got something more precious. The vart is, the getting something from Mesha, the, the Harris Advarim is, as a herzog nicht der Mekabel, as a herzog der Geber. As a herzog der Ebersch, der as a herzog nicht der, was hat gekrogen von dem Ebersch. And they, want, that's, they, wanted their, they wanted to be in Erz Yisrael. They wanted to be in Erz Yisrael in such an Eifen, that by Zezel sich der Herren, that they're in the Ebersch's place. 
It's not that the Ebishter gave them something. Memela, so they wanted to get it directly from, from Mesha. And getting it directly from Mesha means heads of the Ebishter. I'll call upon him. I want to be Messiah with something that someone pointed out. I made, I made, I, 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 I think so. I made it. Uh, interesting Zach. Interesting Zach. I hear I say this Mishnah Mavri. So I hear that young man is Rabbi Zusha Wolf in Far Chabad. He showed it to me. He showed it to me. But it's a uh, printed thing. So now, there's a mimer of the Rebbe in, in Seva Mamorim Malukit. There's a copy. There's in the beginning of Seva Mamorim Malukit. I think it's the first Seva Mamorim Malukit. There's like Tzilumim of Kisviyad of the Tikkun of the Rebbe of the Rebbe's Hagois. And over there, there's a mimer that in, in the original Hanukkah, the Siyama Maimer, speaking about the Kis of Rana Sheikh Niofer, and we get the Friedrich Rab, and we get the Rabbi in Bechlal. And then it says, Venelach Itom Yachad, Lekabu Pnei Mashiach Tzitkin. Venelach Itom Yachad, Lekabu Pnei Mashiach Tzitkin. The Rebbe could see Saviat. It's, it's a printed Saviat. The Rebbe took out the Vov of Vinnelech and he put the Vov to Itom. And he took the Vitom, he made like this. It's a Sigishtanin Vinnelech Itom Yachat. The Rebbe took the Vov. And he took the vav from vin neilich and he put it to itom, and he took the whole vi itom neilich, vi itom yachad, and he put that before vin neilich. So he gave him and stot vi sigishtanen lechatchila, vin neilich itom yachad. He changed it to vi itom yachad neilich. But Tuma now this is tavshim amtes. It's not a zamaim and the rebbe was magir thinking tavshim amtes. And the pale, the Rebbe changed it to say, Vitom Yachad Nelech. What a pshat. Pshat's a pshat. Vinelech Itom Yachad means, Vinelech means we're going. No, we're going to eat them. It's mere gain. We're going to eat them. Chas v'shol. We're going to eat them. Aber v'neilich, mere gain. When it says, we eat them, yachad neilich means that ganz and neilich is only we eat them. It's not that there's a neilich and the neilich is eat them, yachad. There's a, 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 there's V'neilech itom yachad meant so do geirs v'neilech. No, me get yishalem, me get itom. Means you're, 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 you you could walk, you could go. But v'neilech itom yachad. The itom yachad neilech in their taiches so do the itom. So do the itom. And then after do the itom yachad is neilech game nechet. And that's the difference. Between having the Eretz Yisrael from Mesha and having Eretz Yisrael from. But the Eretz Yisrael, very good. Which is Gikrogen. But this is their. their as we eat them yachad neilich. They have a health and a soul sign. We eat them yachad neilich. With the Rebbe's own gain. And we're going to say, Mitzvah Shlemu.